Before the construction of the Valley Furniture Shop, originally called the Valley Shop, a two-family residential rental home existed on the property and had an address of Rural First Delivery, RFD3. The Marsh and Haberly families lived in this rental home until a band by the name of Harlan H.P. Pratt purchased the home with the vision to build a business. He ran an antique and auctioning shop from the home until he outgrew the space. In 1951, Harlan demolished the residential home and constructed what would become the Valley Shop. The construction of the Valley Shop and a 1949 addition to an existing barn, which served as Harlan's workshop, ushered in a new business endeavor for Harlan, one that focused on the construction and selling of high-quality furniture. Harlan, both talented in furniture construction and management of a company, subcontracted out all of the trades and operations required to build what was referred to as the Pratt Building. The Pratt Building originally leased space to other businesses under the same roof. The Wachung Post Office was stationed in the center of the building until it permanently moved to the Wachung Triangle in the 1980s. It was Dr. Arthur Gatesy, a dentist, who occupied the back upstairs corner of the building. Wendell Inc., an upscale ladies' clothing and dress shop, was located in the southwest corner of the building. Wendell Inc. was ultimately replaced by a small business called The Candle Barn, which was run by the Binger family, who lived in Warren, New Jersey. Before the post office moved to the Pratt Building, it was originally located on the property where the Chase Bank and Cup of Cafe currently resides. The original post office structure served as a one-room schoolhouse and was moved from the bottom of Johnson Drive. Mayor Ken Schmidt's father was the first postmaster in Wachung. By 1973, Harlan was looking to get involved in developing a property he owned in Brick Township as well as 65 acres in Pittstown, New Jersey. That same year, a gentleman by the name of Spencer Kipe asked Harlan if he was interested in selling the business despite the fact that the property was not on the market. Harlan was, and the store name was changed to Valley Furniture Shop. The contract between Spencer and Harlan to buy the store was just two pages long. Spencer and Harlan developed a trust with each other during the deal and maintained a friendship until Harlan passed away in March of 2007 at the age of 92. He passed away in his retirement home in Penswood, Pennsylvania. Harlan knew Spencer was the man who could maintain the original vision of the business. Spencer grew up in Watchung on Valley Road and moved from North Plainfield when he was just seven years old. He was a true Watchung native, attending school at the Watchung Art Center building and recreationally swimming and boating on Watchung and Best Lake. His promise to Harlan to expand the business by selling 18th century furniture, most of which was produced in the United States. Spencer maintained good relationships with the borough of Wachung while maintaining a business for nearly 40 years until 2015. His generosity, however, extended beyond the Valley Furniture Shop. He made a donation to the Wachung Rescue Squad in the mid-1960s to have a sign etched out of solid mahogany. That same blue and gold sign, which reads Wachung Rescue Squad, is mounted on the front of the Rescue Squad building above the ambulance bays. In 2019, the building complex was sold. It is rumored the complex would be renovated and become a restaurant. 22 inches of water was measured in the showroom floor during the flood of 1973. The borough of Watchung has considered the building as a potential location for a new library.
Horse trails once crisscrossed the Wachung landscape. It was not uncommon to see locals riding horses along the main roads in town, including Mountain Boulevard, Valley Road, Bonnie Burn, Sterling Road, or even Johnston Drive. Old Somerset Street was no exception, and once served exclusively as a riding trail. It ran uninterrupted between Hillcrest and Bonnie Burn Road, both south and parallel to Ridge Road. A discreet entrance to Old Somerset Street is still visible while traveling north along Hillcrest Road. This same horse trail extended west of Hillcrest and into the towns of Warren and Bedminster. The portion of this trail west of Hillcrest could once be found behind the Santucci home, Twinbrooks Country Club, Sunlit Drive, and the Ness property. Johnston Drive was particularly special for horses and local legend. Its steep slope required periodic carriage rests along its profile that were more flat than the remaining portions of the road. These areas, often referred to as bumps today, were designed to relieve the horses of carriage pressure that pushed against them as they rode downhill. These carriage rest areas are still part of the Johnston Drive topography, often being associated with the 13 Bumps Road legend. This legend tells the tale of 13 witches that were supposedly buried beneath the roads at the Bump locations. Wachung, like many of the surrounding communities, was home to a Tally Ho 4-H club. The name Tally Ho comes from a huntsman cry to the hounds on a sighting of a fox. The club was originally founded by the Widmer family and later run by the Linebox on their respective properties. The Widmer family property was set between Stone Lee Drive and Anderson Road, while the Linebach property was located on Anderson Road, bordering the family farm at the end of Winans Lane. Despite the change in location for the club during the years, it always focused on everything horses, including anatomy, feeding, hygiene, and proper use and maintenance of riding equipment. Some members shared their horses with other community members and members of the club who were horseless. Everyone worked all year towards attending and participating in the Somerset County 4-H Fair and to qualify for the state horse shows. Members took turns sleeping on bales of hay overnight within the horse tents during the multi-day event. The Red Barn, located behind the current Wachung Library, is one of the last remaining prominent horse stables in town. While the structure itself is dated and not readily maintained, it was once home to a horse named Question Mark. Question Mark was owned by the Pratts, the same family that built and managed the Valley Shop, which later became known as the Valley Furniture Shop. It's clear today that the popularity of horseback riding in Wachung is not what it used to be. Large subdivisions and housing developments broke up the interconnected riding trails that once traversed the secluded wooded Wachung landscape. Families that moved to the area were not as tolerant of horses as the longtime residents of Wachung once were. Local vets, who would often care for horses as well as domestic home pets, were not as readily available. Blacksmiths, who shod the horses, slowly closed up shop or moved from the area. Young adults going to college to further their education became more mainstream. Families found themselves having to reevaluate owning horses as the responsibility ultimately fell on those still living at home. There was also an ever-increasing cost associated with feeding and caring for these beloved animals. By the late 70s and early 80s, horses in Wachung had virtually disappeared, 